Today we're going to be looking at the grade 4 math Tennessee Ready practice test and we are looking at problem number 12 on this specific example. The question states a school needs vans for a field trip. There are 59 people going on the field trip. The school has six vans that each hold eight people. The school will rent additional vans that each hold eight people. How many vans will the school need to rent to hold all of the people going on the field trip? So the first thing I want to do is highlight some important information here that I need to know as I'm working. So we have 59 people going on our trip. The school already has six vans that hold eight people and they're going to rent additional vans that hold eight people. And our question says how many vans will the school need to rent need to rent so this is not including the ones that they already have we're looking for additional vans so if you need to make a note if you're working on this problem that you're looking for additional vans to make sure that your answer is not the total amount of vans that is going to be used but the additional amount of vans that they need so, I'm going to show you two different ways to work out this problem. So, we're going to go through the first method. So, we know that they have six vans that hold eight people. So, if I want to find the total amount of people that can fit on those vans, I can do six times eight. And six times eight is 48. So we know the vans that they already have hold 48 people. And we have 59 people that are going. So we can go ahead and subtract those 48 that are already accounted for in the vans that, is our, that they already have, the school has. So 9 minus 8 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. So we have 11 people left over. So this is who is left over. So now, we, their school is going to rent additional vans that hold these eight people. So we have 11 people, so we'll subtract eight people. 11 minus 8 is 3. So this is one additional van. So here we still have three people left. So since we still have three people that aren't account accounted for on a, in a van to go on the field trip, we're going to have to get another van. So, one plus one is two. So the school is going to need to get two additional vans. So just to recap here, we had 59 people, and we know the amount of vans and the how many they hold equals 48 people. So the six vans hold 48 people. But we still had 11 people left over, so we had to account for them. If the van holds eight people, we're going to subtract those eight people, which means that's one van. But we still have our three people left over, so we're going to have to get another van to equal two vans. So now I'm going to show you the way that I would do this problem. So, I would do it a more traditional route, but feel free to do whichever way makes the most sense to you. So, I'm going to take our eight people here and divide 59 divided by 8. So, this is going to get me the total number of vans. So, If I'm trying to figure out how many times 8 goes into 59, I'm going to just start at 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. And then 8 times 8 is 64, so this is too many. So 8 times 7 56. 59 minus 56 is 3. So this is telling me that I have 
seven vans, but then I still have three people left over down here, so I'm still going to have to get another van. So seven plus one equals eight, but we already have six vans that the school owns, so eight minus six gets us our two.